Happy Friday and welcome back to the Spanless Gamer where we're playing Ghost and Goblins. Ghost and Goblins came out in uh, 1986 for the NES. It's a Capcom game. Uh, back of the box here says it's part of Captain Commando's challenge series. The beautiful princess is kidnapped her lover, the knight, in shining armor, armed with five different weapons to fight the enemy, sets out to rescue the beautiful princess. The knight, aided by your skill, must pass through seven different guided gates, fighting and destroying demons, dragons, giants, and zombies. What about ghosts and goblins? Do you fight those? I don't know. Uh, but let's uh, let's get right into this game, y'all. All right, player one, ready. I am ready. Got a cut screen. Oh no. Well, at least we know if he saves her this time, it will never happen again. Maybe he shouldn't go picnicking in cemeteries. Just a hunch. But he did bring his armor with him, so at least he did that. Oh, your armor's so bad, it makes you naked if you get hit. Ah, game is uh, challenging as I remembered it. Of course, the later titles are a little super ghost and goblins. They're a little better. But this is a pretty good port. All right. Still want to fight some ghosts. I'm tired of all these goblins. Kill the bird, kill the blue haired Dr. Seuss characters. Get the money. Because saving the princess isn't going to pay the bills. Nope. All right. Oh, yeah. Whenever I have to visit my grandparents' grave, I always have to tr jump on these weird moving platforms. Not a very well-designed cemetery. Do, do, do. I'm going to push the Steve Weeby button. No, not Billy Mitchell button. That's what we called it. Do do picking up sacks of money in the forest near the cemetery. Just like you do. Now these must be the ghosts. Oh. And Billy Mitchell button. Do 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 from skeleton back to naked man. What a horrible sound. Nope, boss fight, you are not going to get me. Yeah. Get the key. <laughs> Yay! Apparently keys come with suits of armor. <laughs> okay. Gotta get the money, because it's important for some reason. So you can buy armor at the, the demon shop. And dead. I don't think I care enough to rewind. I'm Ghost and Goblins champion, I am not. I think I rented this game as a child and uh, got very frustrated with it. It's probably one of the first games that just frustrated me with the challenge. I'm pretty sure I got a lot further than this, but uh, can't go in the door? Or I don't know how to go in the door. Am I just that bad? I can't even walk through doors. 
and I'm dead. That's it. Let's uh, let's rate this game. Let's rate this sucker. Yeah, graphics. We'll give it a uh, five. Sound. Uh, five. Music. Uh, we'll give it a six. Story. Uh, four controls. They're solid. Um, not perfect. Funness. Uh, four does it hold my attention? Three, and we'll give it an overall score of 4.5, and that's it. We'll see you next game. Mm -hmm.